In this video, we will extract silver from a coin or another silver source. This method can be used to obtain nearly pure silver when the silver is mixed in with other metals. So you're only going to need about less than 20 milliliters of concentrated nitric acid and some silver coins or another silver source. Please note that this experiment is more for fun than anything else and there will be a loss of silver in the process. It should also be noted that often the amount of silver that can be extracted from a coin is less valuable than the coin itself. First I added about 20 milliliters of water, followed by about 20 milliliters of concentrated nitric acid. I then swirled the solution around a little to mix it. Next I added a silver quarter to the nitric acid. The nitric acid used here is in severe excess. I use the amount I did for visual effect, but it should be good for at least two quarters or multiple coins. Also, the purpose of diluting the acid is so that the reaction with the quarter is not violent. The reaction that is occurring is shown above. Silver reacts differently in hot concentrated nitric acid than it does in cold or dilute nitric acid. So as you can see in the equation above, nitric oxide is produced. Nitric oxide alone is extremely toxic, and in the presence of air, it produces nitrogen dioxide, which you can see as the brown fumes. For this reason, it's extremely important that you carry out this reaction in a fume hood or a well-ventilated area. The color change is not due to the reaction of silver with the nitric acid, it's actually due to the reaction of copper with the nitric acid. After a while, the solution will adopt a more blue color. Once the coin is completely dissolved and it has stopped bubbling, add an equal volume of water. The solution is then filtered through cotton to remove undissolved impurities. A small amount of water was then used to wash out the container and to wash out the rest of the silver nitrate in the funnel. Copper wire was then added to the solution and it starts reacting. The reaction that is taking place is shown above. The copper reacts with the silver nitrate in solution to displace the nitrate ion and release silver metal. Another reaction that is occurring is the reaction between copper and excess nitric acid. For this reason, it's important to add an excess of copper in order to precipitate as much of the silver as possible. Every so often, you can poke the copper pieces to dislodge the silver that has precipitated. You should also occasionally stir the solution. It is going to take quite a while to react, so I suggest leaving it here for a while and coming back. However, eventually the reaction will be done, and you will know this when the bubbling has stopped and the solution has cleared. The next step is to filter off the silver. Pour it through the filter paper, let it drain, and wash the empty beaker and the silver precipitate several times using water. I used a squeeze bottle to knock down the silver precipitate that was lodged on the side of the filter paper. The filter paper, after draining, was then removed, placed in a crystallizing dish, and dried in an oven. This is what the silver looks like when it is dried. It looks like a nondescript grey powder, which is quite different from the metallic silver that you normally see. Now, to reconstitute the silver into the nice, shiny metal that we normally see, we need to melt it down. So the first step is to add it to a crucible. Then, using a torch, the silver metal was liquefied. It takes a little while for the silver to get up to its melting point, so you'll have to be a little bit patient. I turned this crucible around as I was melting it to form the silver into a large glob. I then poured the red hot glob onto a piece of wood for it to cool down. If you leave it in the crucible and let it cool down, it will stick to the crucible and be nearly impossible to remove unless you shatter the crucible. This is what the final extracted silver looks like. Note that this silver extraction is not quantitative and silver will be lost in the process. I lost about 10% of the silver during the extraction process, which is pretty bad. However, this is most likely due to the fact that I used much more nitric acid than I needed and I didn't let the copper sit in the solution long enough to precipitate all of the silver.